This clip is intended to show the size and operation of the Water Vision Inc. electrocoagulation 2.5 gallon a minute test unit. The unit is small, located in a box with a reversing switch, and is fully mobile. It's mounted on wheels so it can be taken from location to location. <clears throat> the unit's plugged into a 220 volt standard plug and this particular operation is running with a Sorensen power supply delivering 85 amps and 33 volts. <clears throat> this is, it's running at the moment in an approaching steady state <clears throat> and water is being pumped through the unit the water is standard water with some conductivity and the dye. Flock water is entering this 20 gallon bucket and as the flock develops and settles out, cleaner water will flow through into the next unit. Test unit, test water, dyed, dark in colour. So we've now treated 20 gallons of the dye. The flock is developing and there's more flock on the bottom than on the top. It still needs a little more time because the flock is so fragile and what we're doing here is we're just gently overflowing into a second container. This would be the equivalent of a weir tank. A simple divider between the tank would achieve the same effect and what will end up here is much much cleaner water and a lot less flock on the bottom. The system's now reached steady state. It's been running for some time. You can see flock is still coming out and developing in this tank. Clean water, relatively clean water is getting carried through. This is the equivalent of just a normal weir tank. A lot of clean water and a bit more flock in here. Even less flock in this last one. The flock's carrying through a little further than in a commercial situation because we don't have any settling tank prior to this first tank but as you can see what's coming out of the end here is absolutely crystal clear water so a continuous process clean water and essentially running through what would be the equivalent of a weir tank and this has been optimised. We started at 85 amps and was generating too much flock. We went to 20 amps and we weren't really cleaning the system the way we wanted and so we came back to 40 amps and 40 amps is putting the right amount of aluminum in to give us the clean water we need without generating too much flock and those flock levels can be seen there now that this has had a chance to settle. <clears throat>